In the process of a collaborative work of the mechanical and electrical engineers, one of the key stages of the design cycle is the placement of the model of the PCB in the device assembly. The mechanical engineer uses mates to correctly set the board position relative to other assembly objects. These mates can be linked to body elements such as faces, edges, holes and others. Now there are two mates between the PCB and enclosure in this assembly. The first mate is placed from the bottom PCB edge to the enclosure plane and the second mate is placed from the side face of the PCB to the wall of the enclosure. Also, there are overall dimensions for both sides placed in the PCB sketch. There are also placed dimensions for one mounting hole. All these dimensions and mates are tied to the geometry of the PCB sketch. If a mechanical engineer changes the board or enclosure geometry in their CAD system, all dimensions and mates are automatically adjusted to the new values. A similar situation occurs if an electrical engineer pushes their new changes to a mechanical engineer from Altium Designer. As long as these changes do not include changes in the shape of a PCB, all dimensions and mates that are associated with the board edges will remain in place, since the board contour sketch was not rebuilt. However, if the electrical engineer changes the PCB shape by themselves, after the data transfer, the MCAD co-designer extension will have to create a sketch for the PCB again on the next push from ECAD to MCAD after pulling changes in MCAD. This will entail reshaping the board form to a new sketch and the board edges will get new identifier names. And since all the created sizes and mates include links to previous geometry identifiers, all these objects will be broken after the rebuild. Let's pull a printed circuit board with changed geometry. Now let's switch to the device assembly to compare the current picture with the previous one. After acceptance, we can see a set of violations in the assembly tree. But despite all the violations, the board remained in its place in the assembly of the device. Note that only one of the two mates is wrong. This is because the side edge was rebuilt and obtained a new identifier name, while the bottom edge retained a previous identifier name, which does not break the created mate. The previous mate between board edge and enclosure wall refers to the missing edge named face 1, while the new edge is named face 3. By removing the previous edge and setting the new edge as the mate object, we redefine it and it will no longer be wrong. If we open the sketch of a PCB, the dimensions that were created earlier are now missing. Also, the dimensions to the mounting holes will be undefined. Don't worry if you have this situation during the design. After updating the violating objects, you can safely continue your work. But consider that in the future, if the PCB is placed as part of a device assembly in the MCAD system and has a set of related dimensions and mates, it is highly recommended to change the PCB shape only from the MCAD side. Otherwise, you may lose some of your data in the process of rebuilding the board geometry and need to spend time redefining mates and dimensions.